And now I'd like to show you a really wonderful bread, an olive cheese loaf that is no need, two risings, you bake it in the oven in an ungreased enamel cast iron. It's great. So measure into a big bowl three cups of bread flour. Now this is opposed to all-purpose flour. Bread flour has a higher gluten content and it is sold in the grocery stores as bread flour. Three cups of bread flour three quarters of a teaspoon of active dry yeast. No need to proof the yeast, as long as you're positive that it's fresh. And one teaspoon of extra fine salt, super fine. Stir that up. Okay, dry ingredients ready. Uh, you want one and three quarters cup, quarter inch cubes of Gruyere cheese. Uh, you can use other kinds of cheeses if you have it, um, but I like the taste of the Gruyere with the olives. And we're using manzanilla olives, these big green olives that are very tasty. These no-knead breads were popularized a couple years ago by a very fine baker, Jim Leahy, in New York City. Jim uh, had Sullivan Street Bakery, and his breads were crusty and wet inside and utterly delicious. And uh, this is an adaptation of one of his beautiful recipes. And slice the manzanilla olives crosswise. So here we have one and three quarters cups of cheese. Add that to your dry ingredients and your gorgeous manzanilla olives. I love that they are purplish around the pit and greenish on the outside. Stir this into the flour and then add approximately one and a third to one and a half cups of water, depending on the weather. And now, now starts the good time. There's absolutely no need to knead. K-N-E-A-D. So it's all holding together nicely. Scrape it all down, cover, and let rise until doubled in bulk. And this is going to take, uh, in a warm, dry place, out of the sun, 12 to 18 hours. If you do your timing right, you'll have it ready in time for dinner. So here we have the dough. It's like magic. 18 hours later, it has doubled in bulk. And you can see that it's real sticky, but beautiful. Now turn this out onto a well-floured surface. And we're just going to turn it a couple times just to make sure all the ingredients are well incorporated. Mm, very sticky, wow. Fantastic. Don't be afraid to use some flour. See how I've turned it on itself? And you can do that again, as if you were making French bread. and then turn it with the folded pinch side down on a piece of wax paper. Flour this because you do not want it to stick. And this will, again, rise until doubled in bulk. Cover it with wax paper and then with a muslin cloth or a flour sack cloth like this. This takes about two hours to rise and then it takes about another hour to, to bake. So I would, um, Give yourself at least three hours so that you have nice, hot, crusty bread for your dinner party. And now the dough has risen. It's over here. Look at this. Doubled in bulk. Very carefully scrape the wax paper off. Mm. Now, I've been preheating the pot. Now, this is an essential um, step in the process because the pot, a hot pot, it's going to make a really great crust on the bread. There, that can be discarded. <gasps> Look at that dough. Okay, now I'm gonna put the hot pot right here. It takes about 10 minutes for it to get really hot. The oven is 475 degrees, so it is hot. Be careful, don't touch the pot. So we have to loosen the dough. That little excess flour is not going to be a problem. 
and you can pick the dough up and plop it into the pot. Now it is really hot. Cover the pot. Now you see I've taken the handle off. It's just unscrewed. Just took the handle off. Get that right on. This goes back into the 475 degree oven. After 25 minutes, uncover and bake for another 15 minutes or so. And here is our olive cheese, no need bread. Just come out of the oven, it looks amazing. Look at that great color. That is the color that you look for in homemade bread. And now turn this out carefully. It's coming out just right. Yes, oh hot, there. Now wouldn't you like to serve that to your family tonight with a great salad, a homemade lasagna, and an olive gruyere loaf? It's absolutely terrific.